Windows Server 2022 is the latest version of Microsoft Server OS. However, there are still huge install bases of the previous generation's Server 2019 and its predecessor 2016. And there are even some companies still using the ancient 2012 and 2008 versions too. Now, whilst your organization or business could be running one of these older OSs and saving on the inevitable upgrade and licensing costs, you may actually be missing out on vital features and benefits whilst also exposing your network, your data and users to unnecessary risks. Let's start by looking at the comparative features of each version of the OS. The last five to 10 years have seen huge advances in technologies that enhance device and data security, as well as tiered storage and cloud migration, features that you won't get or only in part with the older versions of the OS. Now, whilst your organization may not be in a position to take advantage of all of these new features, there's also a critical support issue around running an old OS. Microsoft has three support dates for Windows servers. The start date, which is when the product is launched into the market, then a mainstream end date when, apart from basic security patches, you'd need to pay for a dedicated supported contract with Microsoft. And finally, there's the extended end date. And after this, no support is available at all. Now, unless you're in government or a multinational organization, it's unlikely that you'd be able to pay for extended support. So the mainstream end date is the most important one for most organizations. As you can see in this table, Windows Server 2008, 2012 and 2016 versions have already passed their mainstream dates and the 2019 version is just over a year away. Understandably, having your infrastructure running on software that can't be updated or patched is not a recommended business strategy. It places a huge risk on your company assets, your data, hardware and other software applications as hackers often exploit known vulnerabilities in software. So if you're running a version of Windows Server that's no longer supported, you become very vulnerable for ransomware, viruses and other types of malware to infect it and other devices on your network. Not to mention the server downtime addressing these issues, reducing your productivity in addition to increasing costs to repair any damage caused. There are also hardware impacts when running older software. If the hardware you have running an older version of the Windows Server fails, the majority of new servers will not support the old OSs. So you're at risk of having to either repair existing servers, which would prove costly if indeed the parts and expertise are available, or upgrade the fail servers and software at the same time, creating huge immediate cost and disruption. And there are other impacts that you may not have considered such as missing out on the expected efficiency boost from any new third-party software when you're running older hardware, which again can impact productivity and ultimately your bottom line. Not to mention staff frustrations and potential issues recruiting new talent who won't want to work with slow, outdated hardware and software and the associated issues. Hopefully this video has highlighted why keeping the old server software versions may not be the money-saving solution that you thought it might be. If you're still running either Windows Server 2008, 2012 or 2016 on your servers, we'd recommend the upgrade as soon as possible. And if you have Windows Server 2019, we'd advise you should be thinking about your server strategy for the next 12 to 18 months, as the mainstream end date is fast approaching. Our SCAN IT team and 3XS system experts are on hand to offer advice on software refreshes and upgrades, bespoke server specifications or any other related topics. So don't hesitate to get in touch or leave a comment below. And just before you go, if you have found this video useful, please hit the like button, leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of our content. You can also check out our other Scan Business sister channels listed in the description below. And I'll see you here next time.